Hey, hello there. Uh, so today I'm looking at question 720, longest word in dictionary. Given a list of words, uh, we want to find the longest word in words such that uh, the word can be built uh, one character at a time by the other words inside the word list. Uh, if there are more than one answer, we can find uh, the lexicographically smallest one. Uh, so it's super unclear what it, this means. Looking at example, we have W, W O, W O R, W O R L, and word. So the word, this particular word here, uh, if we look at any arbitrary prefix inside this word, uh, W O, W O R, W O R L, uh, except for the including the very last the digits, um, all those arbitrary prefix is a actual a word in the word list. So we want to find the word where we can. Uh, you know, all the arbitrary prefix uh, for that word is a uh, existing word in the word list. We won't find such word, uh, the longest uh, such word. Uh, that's this uh, example one. For example two, we actually have two candidates that satisfy the condition, the apply and apple. We have a, ap, app, appl, all the arbitrary prefix as a word inside this word list. Uh, so, so this two both satisfy the requirement and they have the same length um, but e comes before y so we return apple so that's uh, pretty much this question uh, so if we look at uh, this uh, this example one uh, it's basically a pass in the try try data structure if we insert all those words in, into the try w w o w o r w o r l w o r l d uh, it's pretty much the pass when we traverse inside this try data structure so you can uh, very uh, easily think about to using that to solve this problem. Uh, so use try. We just put put uh, put all those words, insert all those words inside the try data structure, and then either do DFS search or BFS search to uh, explore the whole try. Um, so uh, anytime doing our search, if the current pass, uh, the node on the current pass does not have a end of word flag, uh, it's immediately exit. Uh, so we can uh, go explore other paths. Uh, once we reach the end of the path, or you know, either by uh, finding uh, a not end of word flag, or reach the actual leaf node, uh, we just consider look at the lens of the current path um, and um, decide whether we want to use this as a final answer. And we can control the way we explore the tree. So. Uh, we can always have the lexical graphically smallest paths to be explored uh, in the uh, in the later search, so that uh, the last time we update the candidate answer is going to be the lexical graphically smallest. In terms of time and space, uh, it's the same as the. It's basically exp um, you know insert explore the try in its entirety, so it's going to be the number of words multiplied by the. Uh, their average length, or uh, you know the uh, the total number of characters among uh, yeah, basically that the number of words multiplied by uh, their characters. That's the upper bound, um, or you could say it's the size of the try. Uh, that's the time and space. Yeah, let's code this up. Um, So today I'm going to try something new. Uh, I would, so uh, I would just use the uh, subclass the uh, default dict for the try node. Uh, yeah. So the I think it takes a factory, right? So that's uh, that's the default uh, factory, and uh, we're gonna add one more thing. That's the flag, which is uh, the stuff that we added to the default date. Uh, otherwise, we'll, if we don't have this flag, we'll just use default date. Uh, end of word to be uh, false.
and for this root node we actually want the uh, end of word to be true because it's empty string empty string is always a uh, end of word I guess So the insert is that uh, uh, we're gonna create this, right? Um, oh no, uh, that constructor is is called uh, uh, explicitly by implicitly by this. So all we need to do is just keep traversing. Yeah. And in the end, we turn on the end of word flag to be true. So that's uh, the try data structure. Uh, our job here is to first uh, populate the try. And then we're going to do the candidate and uh, its length um, to be empty string and uh, zero and then we're just going to do a BFS search uh, or DFS search inside this try data structure um, let's let's do DFS search because it I guess it could be potentially more uh, space efficient so we start with a um, A single thing on the deck, uh, which is going to be the tuple of uh, uh, the root node, the try node, which is going to be initially it's the root node, and uh, the the characters on the pass. So initially this is totally empty. Uh, so that's the initial uh, state, initial state of the traverse. So uh, here I'm doing uh, DFS search. If the current uh, node does not have an end of word flag, that means the termination of that uh, search pass. And uh, uh, if length of pass, uh, so I guess we will just update, try to update that here. Um, oh, sorry. We don't need to do this update. Um, we only do this if there is indeed a end of word tag. Uh, if the lens of the current pass is larger than the lens, uh, lar larger than or equal to, uh, what we would do is to uh, update the candidate. So the, I guess the candidate can be an empty list. So updating that, then we just try to ex try to see if we can explore this try data structure even further. So the way we choose the next pass is to do the order in the reverse lexical graphical order. So that's going to be uh, for character in lowercase letters, reverse the lowercase letters. Uh, if character is a, a valid key, so it's a, we do have a next character uh, from this node. Uh, if that's the case, we're just gonna uh, try to push that uh, back to the end of this uh, uh, stack. Uh, so that's toe, uh, append, the tuple, 
which is the node by actually going there and uh, the uh, pass append with the new character yeah so that's uh, uh, that's the DFS search uh, so in the end we just uh, stitch the candidate back together as a string so I guess to have the handle empty case, we do this, right? No, in the in the beginning, we'll just insert a insert an empty space here. Um, let's see if it works. Uh, we get the word, okay? Uh, let's try the second example. Nope. Uh, so what we got is apply, not apple. Mm. So why is that uh, we, uh, it seems that we can get to the valid uh, uh, valid word, the longest valid word, but not be able to get it in lexical graphic order. Mm. So why is Y explored later than E in this case? I'm, I'm doing reversed order, so you should visit Y first and then um, in the other pass it will reach Apple. Am I testing the the, the lens? They are the same. They should be the same. So so I should be able to update that, right? Um, let me just try to print out the pass here and see when did I trigger the update. Um, so I have Apple, Apple. So yeah, E is indeed happening before Y. Uh, why is that the case? So I think I'm supposed to visit uh, Y before E. Ah, okay. So uh, you should be the, the other way around. Just the disorder. Yeah, this time it works. So uh, I should just append them to the stack in their increasing order, so A, B, C, D. So that way uh, Y will be popped earlier before, uh, before E. So this will uh, make sure that uh, we're exploring this in a uh, lexicographic order. Hmm. Okay, so let, let's try to submit this one. Yeah, it's working. Uh, not particularly fast and it uses a lot of space uh, but anyway that's a, that's a solution using try and uh, uh, what we did is basically just use a uh, pretty typical try uh, implementation uh, and also uh, in the body of the solution we just populate the try and uh, do a DFS search on the try um, and in the in the DFS search, we make sure that uh, we're exploring the passes in the lexical graphical order. Uh, and any time that we find a pass uh, that's equal to or larger, longer than the current maximum, we update the candidate solution. And in the end, we just uh, stitch together the candidate solution and return that. So in terms of both time and space, you uh, it, it will be linear with respect to the twice size. So uh, that's just uh, uh, the number of words multiplied by uh, their um, their lens, average lens, or some sort of like that. Um, but but there, there are duplicates. So uh, as an example, the word here, this particular example, the space is just a uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, five node. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be the. Uh, uh, the time and space are going to be linear with, with respect to the actual try size. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's this uh, try question today.